We're headed out for a quick little sail today, just jumping between islands, but I figure it's time to finally share with you one of my favorite tricks to make it easier to raise the mane. On Starry Horizons, we've got what this is now a doyle called cradle cover. I've heard a bunch of different names, stack packs, so just like sails, it seems like there's a lot of different names for the same thing. But the general purpose is to keep our mainsail covered and protected from UV while we're at anchor or, you know, not sailing. And it's worked great. It helps keep the main in much better condition. Now, they are held up by these. These are called lazy jacks. And while they do a great job of kind of keeping some shape to the stack pack for while we're at anchor, they make it very challenging to actually raise the main because the battens on the main like to get stuck in them. So most times for those lazy jacks, they're super tight on the mast, which gives a very narrow window to raise the main in between. And if there's a little bit of breeze kind of moving back and forth, the battens get stuck quite easily. What we've done is we've separated them out. Uh, they're now out on the this diamond stays. Yep, that's the word for it. And so that just kind of opens it up. It gives us a much wider window to be able to raise that main. And let's uh, go ahead and get that main up now, and hopefully we can show you how much easier that is. Before we try to get the main up, real quick, just want to see if I can do a better shot of showing you just how much wider the lazy jacks are than if they were on the mast. So, move the camera. If you're looking all the way up there, try to tighten it up. You can see where the lazy jacks are out on the diamond stays. Just imagine if they were right there on the mast, how much tighter that would be. Just as, makes it so easy. <laughs> no catching. No catching. We are now securely anchored at the absolutely gorgeous hog key down here, and we have almost it all to ourselves, which is pretty amazing. So we've been here for a while. Uh, the wind has died. So today is going to be a perfect day to actually go up the mast and show you the actual physically how did we do this to pull the lazy jacks out to the side and give us a little bit more room to raise the main. So let's go on up and also take advantage of that gorgeous view. Before we get started up here, I've just got to take a moment because, I mean, is that just not absolutely stunning? We're here anchored, I think it's probably about seven, eight feet below us. Um, and I mean, I hope you can kind of get a view down there. It is so unbelievably gorgeous. You can even see the anchor all the way up towards where we're, uh, anchor chain all the way up where we're anchored. Really glad to be down here. It's just, it's so pretty. It's nice, relaxing. It's just wonderful to be here, especially after all that work on our refit. So, loving it. Now that we're up here, let's talk how we actually physically did this adjustment. So, there's a couple things. Uh, here on the mast itself, we can see there's two eyes, uh, one on each side 
of the mast. And that is where the blocks for the Lazy Jacks originally were located. So very, very narrow. I'm gonna to try to get a tape measure out. Hopefully I'm showing you a measurement right about now. Uh, so it was difficult to get the main up, but also coming up the mast in the bosun's chair, you have to think very skinny getting in between all that. So just never was super awesome. Now, I'm gonna adjust hands and we'll come in here and let's talk changes we've made. So. We have got now a low friction ring. This is a Dyneema line that we have got lashed around it to keep it in place. But you can see this brings the Lazy Jack line up and then outboard. And this comes all the way out to the diamond stay. And we've got another low friction ring right here. This one is also lashed using some Dyneema line out to the, the diamond stay. And then we've got another uh, thicker Dyneema line that goes up. I'll go up in a minute and show you what is up there. But so this right here is where the magic happens. It pulls it out so far from the mast and really gets us a significantly wider angle all the way down there to the uh, cradle cover, stack pack, whatever you want to call it. One thing that I do kind of wish we had done is uh, gone with a slightly larger low friction ring here at the, the diamond stay, just because it can be a little tough with that small of a diameter to actually uh, pull up the cradle cover with the lazy jacks. Uh, it's, you know, not the end of the world. We've managed to find a way, but um, when I eventually get around to redoing this, I will use a slightly larger ring. So let's head on up to the top of the mast and talk about it there. Up we go, please. Up to the top of the cap shrouds. Stop! Now that we're up at the top, not quite the top of the mast, but this is where the cap shrouds attach to the mast right here. This is the other part of the magic, I would say. Uh, so we have got, it's a little hard to see, this is gonna be the Dyneema line that was coming up. Um, yeah, put some B-roll around there. So we've got the Dyneema line that comes up and it luggage tags around where the cap shrouds are attached to the mast. Now, this is an area I was a little worried about with some uh, chafe and stuff like that. So we originally did this idea with our friends Spike and Anna. They were the crew on the gunboat tribe, so they knew what they were doing. And he had some extra Dyneema chafe cover. So we actually spliced that in and uh, you can actually see where we've got that. And that's been perfect. I mean, we have sailed seven plus years with this. I mean, that's thousands, tens of thousands of miles and it's got some sharp edges, but has worked out really well up here. So this whole combination, this line all the way up at the top of the mast, top of the mast, um, is what prevents the diamond stay low friction ring from falling down. And then being diamond stay low friction ring being lashed uh, to the diamond stay, keeps it out far enough. Now that has worked really, really well. One thing that I would also say, I'm a little high for this, uh, but you can see, there's the black cover on our cap shrouds. Now, I would not recommend lashing the outboard low friction ring to a cap shroud if you have that black cover on it because the black cover is supposed to be able to move up and down and shed some water. So just be careful about that. Don't lash it there if you can avoid it, hence why we chose the diamond stays. Now, because I am all the way up here, let's go to the very, very top of the mast for one last trick. This is truly the top of the mast up here, all the fun stuff. So the last trick I wanted to uh, share with you is if you have a boat with a two to one main halyard, we had a lot of issues with twist in the main when we first got the boat. And uh, a few reasons I think that was a part of that, going around in an electric winch does introduce some twist into the line. But we have figured out kind of this nice little setup here. Um, it's actually a swivel. So the main hired, if it gets some twist in it, can actually untwist itself. Just another quick little cheap trick for you. If you got some twist in your main hired with two to one, give it a try.
now that I'm back on firmish ground. I hope you found that interesting and uh, maybe got an idea for something you can try on your boat. Uh, pulling the lazy jacks out really just makes it so much easier to raise the main. So if you haven't done it yet, really strongly recommend you give it a try. It's not that hard to do, to complete, be completely honest. Like just a couple little hardware pieces. Splicing is probably the biggest issue, but um, I'm gonna leave a couple links down in the description below, get you some ideas for where you can get started, and I have faith in you. You can do it. So if you're not afraid of heights, definitely give it a try. So thanks again for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Stick around. We've got more videos coming up, and we'll see y'all later.